Hello everyone. Welcome back to GIS. In the previous session, we were discussing on some of the basic ideas before starting our GIS class. So today, we will introduce the world of geographic information system. Hence, in today's session, we will be discussing what is a GIS, what are the basic functions provided by GIS, what are the major components of a GIS, its major advantages and applications in today's world. So let's move into the definition of GIS. There have been several attempts to define the GIS. However, it should be noted that any definition of GIS will depend on the background and the viewpoint of the person or the organization who is using it. Burrow in the year 1986 defined GIS as a set of tools for collecting, storing, retrieving at will, transforming and displaying spatial data from the real world for a particular set of purpose. The Department of Environment defined GIS in the year 1987 as a system of capturing, storing, checking, integrating, manipulating, analyzing and displaying the data which are spatially referenced to the earth. Thus, a geographic information system is basically a computer-based tool for mapping and analyzing geographic information. It allows virtually anyone to create a map to help explain the historic events, plan for the future and predict the outcomes. Thus, a GIS is an organized collection of computer hardware, software, geographic data and personal design to effectively capture, store, update, manipulate, analyze and display all forms of geographically or spatially referenced information. Thus, this GIS consists of two distinct disciplines. One is the geography and the other one is the information system. Geography is the scientific study of spatial pattern and the process on the surface of the earth, where the major emphasis is placed upon the organization and arrangement of any phenomenon on the earth's surface features. The information system we have already discussed in the previous session. So, in layman words, a geographic information system is a framework for gathering, managing and analyzing any type of spatially referenced data. Rooted in the science of geography, the GIS integrates many types of data. It analyzes spatial location and organizes layers of information into visualization with the help of maps and 3D scenes. With this unique capability, GIS reveals deeper insights into data such as patterns, relationship and situation, thus help the users to make some smarter decisions. Now let's look into the basic functions of GIS. There are four basic functions that GIS always provide. The data capture, the data management, the spatial analysis and presenting the results. There are various sources from which a GIS uses data. GIS provides tools and methods for the integration of data into a format so that this data can be compared and analyzed. Scanned paper maps, aerial photograph, existing digital data, data collected from the photographs, GPS and remote sensing satellite images are the few point sources used in GIS. After the collection and the integration of data, a GIS facilitate to store and maintain the data with the help of effective data management. Data security, screening, integrity, storage and retrieval 
as well as maintenance are some of the aspects of effective data management in GIS. The GIS also functions as a better spatial analyst. The function of spatial analysis in GIS makes it distinct from other software or tools like CAD. The spatial analysis allows one to interpolate buffer and overlay operations across the regions or places. And one of the most distinctive feature of GIS is its visual presentation of the results in the form of three-dimensional images. This will provide a better results when compared to our traditional methods of tabulation and graphs. Now let's look into what are the major components of a GIS. We have already discussed that a GIS is an integration of human resource, spatial and attribute data, analytical methods and computer hardware and software which are organized to store, manage and deliver information through geographic presentation. Thus, a GIS requires five major components to integrate all its functions. These are the hardware, the software, the data, the people and the methods or the procedures. Hardware refers to all the equipments which are needed to support GIS activities from data collection to data analysis. The main parts of hardware include the computer or the workstation to run the GIS software with all its peripherals, digitizers and scanners, GPS are important peripheral components in a GIS. The advent of web-enabled GIS also promoted the web servers to be an important part of GIS today. Software the GIS software provides the functions and tools needed to store, analyze and display geographic or spatial information. The key components of a GIS software are a database management system, tools for input and manipulate, tools or the functions to support geographic query, analyze and visualization and a user-friendly graphical user interface for easy access to all these tools. Now, looking into data, there are basically two types of data used in GIS. A spatial data and an attribute data. The spatial data are the data which are geographically referenced with the help of coordinates. Coupled with this data, contains additional information about the spatial data and these data are termed as an attribute data. The documentation of GIS data sets that contain information on the content, quality, condition, origin and other characteristics of a data is being termed as metadata. Now moving to the people. It is the human resource who are actually capable of using the GIS appropriately and can make GIS work with understanding and analyzing the output. They include the GIS manager, the data administrators, application specialist, system analyst and programmers. These people are responsible for maintaining the database and technically supporting the GIS work. People associated with GIS can be categorized into three. The viewers, the general users and the GIS specialist. Now moving into the procedures or the methods. The methods or the procedures are the steps or the instructions used to carry out the work in a GIS software. It focuses on how the data will be retrieved, input into system, stored, managed, analyzed and present into final output. Now let's look into some of the advantages of GIS. For a project with larger spatial compound, analyzing the impacts is an essential prerequisite before the beginning of any project. The GIS facilitates thematic maps of various aspects 
and utility maps that help the decision makers to analyze the project. Thus, GIS helps the policy makers to calculate the area, distance, length, width, volume and many others within a short period of time, thereby reduces the time and the cost of the project. Thus, GIS always helps project efficiency with cost and time saving. GIS is a tool to query, analyze and present data in support of a decision making process. Thus, GIS helps in a better decision making. GIS technology assists in resolving territorial disputes, site selection, corridor selection, natural resource planning and conservation and thereby helps the planners to take correct decision. Improved communication and organizational integration. GIS has the ability to link the data sets and thereby facilitates sharing and communication interdepartmental informations. This improves the communication between different teams, departments and professional fields leading to higher organizational integration. It is the primary responsibility of many organizations to maintain the records and the status and change of geographical data, cultural and social aspects. GIS provides a strong framework for maintaining such type of records with full transactions and reporting tools. Thus, GIS is a better record keeping information system. GIS with its advanced technology like DTM and third dimensional modeling helps us to visualize and understand the terrain of a region. GIS is a valuable tool to analyze the socio-economic data such as population distribution, site selection, environmental impact assessment and thereby leading to better decision making among the governmental authorities. GIS can also provide solutions to various environmental problems by modeling the disaster activity precisely. GIS provides high accuracy by presenting better predictions and analysis by involving vast range of tasks simultaneously with effective time management. Now let's look into some of the applications of GIS. Mapping the key function of the GIS. The function of the GIS basically is to facilitate visual interpretation of various data in the form of maps. With the use of this application, it is not necessary to become a cartographer to produce maps nowadays. GIS is highly used under telecom and network services. The GIS enable wireless telecommunication organizations to incorporate geographic data into the computer network designing, planning and maintenance activities. This allows the telecom to enhance their engineering applications, customer relations and location based service. Accident and hotspot analysis. The GIS data helps to identify the accident locations and road networks that can be optimized using data intelligence. This intelligence helps to improve road safety measures and allows better traffic management. Urban and transport planning. GIS data analysis, urban growth and the direction of expansion. When appropriately applied, it can discover new sites for further development considering various factors that are necessary for successful building of an urban center. GIS data is commonly used for managing the transportation issues.
with addition of environmental and topical data in a gis platform companies can plan for new road or a rail road environmental management environmental impact assessment is an important initiative taken by the authorities in view of conserving the environment prior to the beginning of large developmental projects gis is being used for the complete evaluation of such projects from the construction to the effects of environment health and other aspects even after completion and running of those projects all the aspects of such impacts are combined in gis software to create ecological models and effective environmental management practices agricultural act applications at grassroots level gis create effective and efficient farming techniques to increase the production with minimum input cost GIS helps to fully integrate different aspects of cropping from the soil quality to nutrition capacity and water retention and climate change. GPS receivers are established in real time with the GPS softwares in many developed nations to estimate the application of fertilizers, chemicals and water for improving the food and agriculture production. defense and intelligence in many countries the defense services uses gis technology to manage maintain and visualize terrain features climatic records and various eco facilities for real time military planning the web based navigation maps use gis data to provide public with useful information Web maps are regularly updated per GIS information and are used consistently in everyday life. Besides, you can find the applications of GIS in almost every part in our today's life, like our flood damage estimation, natural resource management, banking, surveying, taxation, assets management and maintenance, dairy industry. irrigation water management pest control and management and many others i hope you have enjoyed today's session post your comments and queries in the comment box or in the google classroom i wish everyone a great day ahead thank you